Okay, uh, I've played this mission before, but it's been a while, and this was before we had the George AI able to kind of spot out targets and tell you what he's looking at and what he sees, and have you select which one he wants you want him to shoot at. And uh, so I'm going to try it again with that updated stuff. Um, we've got the Nicosia, or however you pronounce that airport, um, it is being held. And there's some AAA and SAM threats there and some enemy forces there. And we're going to go clear it out and then call in some friendly units to come possess the airport. Good morning, pilot. Today we will retake Nicosia airport. Okay, it's been a while since I've been in the Apache. Let's switch to uh, CPG. Turn off that thingy. Let's get rid of our body so we can see stuff. Uh, I'm going to pop up the TSD over here, and we're going to enter a couple of points from our knee board. I'm, uh, hmm. The knee board used to... Huh. I didn't think that... I, I thought it was a toggle, not a hold. Uh, we'll just hold the K button. Let's uh, go to our point page. And we're going to add... Uh, let's see here. We're going to add the battle point which is a CM and that's BP P there it is uh, wait what am I missing what am I missing uh, there's a step I'm missing here like I said it's been a while since I've done this CP uh, let's clear that do I need to put in CM where'd the M go there it is Nope, that's not it. Uh, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to click this. Let's clear that first. Click that. There we go. I didn't. Here we go. So, BP. Bravo. Papa. Enter. Free. We can call that whatever we want. Um... Okay, now sometimes these get goofy, but let's see, we're on Whiskey Delta, yeah, Whiskey Delta, that looks okay, so 2669, 2669, and uh, 8303, 830 tree, enter 8tree tree, 8tree 7, that's about right, so enter that, we're good, okay, we're going to add another, this one's going to be the SA-13 TG. Okay, we're going to click there. Ident. Uh, we'll call it 13. Free. Um, uh, let's do SAM. Okay, that long. We've got 2656. Six. Eight nine nine eight. Enter six nine three six nine three. Okay, that's all we're gonna do for that. We may not use them, but I wanted to punch them in. I should use them. I should get better at using that kind of stuff. But uh, okay, back to the pilot seat. Now this is a little bit different than it used to be taken off in the Apache. Um, it's just a little different, not much, but. I think we're ready to go so we will add some torque here or some collective just getting a little light wanting to roll a little bit I'm not the best at establishing hover but let's get out of here duck buddy all right there we go it's about the same as it used to be I guess there's some difference to how she flies Since I'm not a real pilot, I don't really know. I just fly it the way it, the way it is, the best I can. Okay, so let's arm up our countermeasures. Go ahead and do that. We're not going to arm up the helicopter or was anything yet. We've got a ways to fly.
Coming up on waypoint one. This mission, if you don't know, is uh, available in the the user file section of the DCS website. This is done by Don Rudy, uh, or if you're in uh, the, and that's D-O-N space R-U-D-I, if you want to look it up. This is Operation Hellenic Don. And there's a single player version and a multiplayer version. I've played this mission before. You, you've seen some stuff on my channel about this mission before, so um, if you're uh, if you're a veteran watcher of mine, you'll you'll know all about this. But it's uh, it's a very good mission. Okay, we can see some of the smoke from the airport. Uh, we're still 12 and a half clicks from the from waypoint three, but we're going to go ahead and arm up. Tell George to um, let's see. Let's have him was the hellfires. was the gun and go ahead and punch in a little bit shorter manual range I like to use 800 I just do um, we've got the let's see we've got the K the Kilo Hellfires um, not the Lima Hellfires so um, these are all laser guided since I'm going to be using George to fire those. Um, I, I don't know that I, I fully trust or fully understand the radar guided ones just yet. So um, I, I've used them and they work really well and I really like them but um, I don't in this particular case, I don't mind uh, kind of maintaining a heading on the target and altitude so that George can uh, keep the target on his sensor. We'll see how, how well George can do. Um, so instead of firing the, the, um, the Limas, I'm going to be using the Kilos. And uh, I did modify this mission. If you were to download this mission, you're going to have rockets and hellfires and you're going to have a different skin than what I have. Um, I modified this mission. That's all I've done to change it was uh, I changed the skin of this uh, Apache and I set it up to have <laughs> 16 Hellfires because I hate rockets on this thing. I absolutely hate them. They, they're, they seem worthless to me. Um, so, there you go. Let's stay low here, um, as low as we can. There, we know there is an SA-13 out there somewhere. We have his approximate coordinates, so we could get on him pretty easily um, if we just selected that target coordinate. Assuming it hasn't moved, um, we could select it and get our uh, TADs looking at it uh, pretty easily. So I'm not too worried about it. I'm just going to have George look at it, honestly. And if he can't find it, then we'll resort to the more correct method. Uh, that's less of a cheat, if you will. Mm -hmm. 
I should really fly the Apache more. I've, I've had a ton of fun in this bird, and it's a lot of fun to fly, and I've actually, um, I, I've even had fun landing it, you know, um, I'm not very good with helicopters, but the Apache's been so much easier to fly than the Huey was for me, um, and I think that my experience with the Huey has helped, but, um, but this has been so fun, and I, I should fly it more, but, um, anyway, we're dropping collective and we are pulling back on the cyclic to kind of slow down we're we want to maintain altitude ish i don't mind if i climb a little bit but i don't want to climb too much uh, i also don't want to get to a speed of zero i would like to keep moving i probably tried slowing down a little too soon but um, we're gonna go ahead and climb a little and i'm gonna have george look over there um, now, uh, if you've ever noticed, if you, oh, okay, if you did what I just did, where you like tell him to look and then you move your head, he'll look wherever, uh, wherever your pilot line of sight is looking when he decides to do it. So you got to hold your iHads over there to have him look. I, uh, okay, here we go. So let's check out what we've got here. Yeah, we've got some. We've got a few different bad guys over there. A lot of things that we can have him shoot at. I think that's what I want to have him target, but it's probably my most dangerous thing at the moment. But we're going to back off of it and we're going to tell him to look again. Now that we're a little closer, we're just going to see what he sees. Okay, we've got two Zeus's, man pads, some infantry, and we've got that, that Strela launcher. So we're going to have him target that. And I need to roll over there a little bit. Uh, my rudder is being very unresponsive at the moment. Which is kind of weird. Yeah, yeah. Fire for real, George. Or tell me why you can't. He's not a very good CPG sometimes. But at times, he's very, very good. So, okay, we've got our rifle. Probably going faster than I want to be, but I needed to correct that before now. Let's watch this guy go in. There we go. Oh, oh, what's it doing? Arr. George, I think that was you. I think that was your fault, not mine. There we go, rifle. Why do you say can't shoot now? Okay, I'm going to switch back here just to try to make sure that I don't drift off. Oh, there we go. Good hit. Okay, let's tell our wingman to start taking care of business. Let's have him look. Yeah, we definitely want to take out that guy. Oh, we got incoming fire. We got it. Whoa. We had a missile alert, too. Not sure if that was... An enemy missile or our wingman? And I saw something blow up down there. I don't know what that was all about. But let's extend. Good thanks, good thanks. What? <laughs> Who destroyed what? <laughs> did my wingman kill something and my, my CPG's telling me we did it? He's trying to take credit for it. Alright, let's kick it around here. Now, I don't 
trust him so that he's still got a good target. So I'm going to re. Uh, okay. I don't trust him at all right now. Um, yeah. We're going to fire a hellfire at a guy. That's right. Hey, he's got a missile. I got a missile. Oof, I'm having trouble keeping it on target. There we go. Huh. George, did you hit him? Nope. I uh, don't really want to waste another Hellfire. Yeah, was the gun. There we go. We're going to shoot him with the gun. Why can't you shoot now? Tell me if we're out of range, George. We're probably out of range. George. Man pad, yeah. Shoot him. You're going to get us killed, my man. Hmm. This, this uh, seems a little buggy. What with him calling out kills that we didn't make and... Okay. And, and him not shooting. I don't know what he's doing right now. I'm guessing... I'm guessing that man pads is dead and it's not really there. There's some bugginess going on. Okay, we're gonna get shot. Oh yeah, yeah, and there's some small arms fire. Oof. Are they? What what were good hits? I don't I don't understand what were good hits. <laughs> yeah, put the hellfire back on. Um, all was the gun. I don't know that I'll be able to spot these guys out very well, so this may not work. really don't want to burn hellfires on these guys. There we go. We'll just have him, sh we'll see if we can get him to shoot these guys. Hey, there we go. Did you kill him? We we're getting too close to these other dudes. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm not sure that I really want to mess with George and the gun. I'm trying to pick all these guys off. He'll be quicker at finding them than I will be, but I'm just... hes I, There's something going on with how George is doing stuff. So we're going to sit in the CPG seat. And we will just let George fly it for a minute. Okay, how far away are we? That's a ways. I think that's... We might be able to get him, but we're going to scoot forward.
I honestly don't remember the ranges on these things. Okay, we'll stop him now. Okay, I do see a dead guy out there. We might be able to get him from here. Okay, it's a bit short. Let's raise it up. Nice. Tango down. All right. Um, I need some practice on the gun uh, in the CPGC anyway. So let's look around for some guys. And this is really what I need the most practice with, is finding things. And messing with the the uh, zoom and all that. So, okay, that looks like something's dead. Try to look around all these buildings. I know there were people shooting at me from closer, but... Finding them will be a different deal. Ooh, helipad. There might be some guys down there. There's some impacts. I think those are from Artie, perhaps. Hmm. There's a building. More Artie. Impact craters. Okay, that's a better zoom level for this. Okay, we are looking off to the right, starboard side of the helicopter, so I don't think there's anybody over there. They'd be shooting me. Let's have him move forward. There's a dead guy. Oh, there's some guys. Oh, they're shooting. Okay, try to get him. Good. Okay. And, oh, that guy's not shooting yet. I'm not close enough. He didn't see his buddy shooting at me. Sweet. Who else wants to play? Is that a guy? Yeah. How far away is he? Whew. Try to get him. That'll work. Those are just barrels. That thing's dead back there. That looks like the main terminal, and that's a wrecked plane out there. Okay. So we're kind of at the other end. We're going to have George take us left a little bit and take us closer. Some civilians that don't know better. I don't want to fly straight at it though. that it's a gas I think whoops got a little momentum going there we go got him to keep an eye on these woods I'm not sure that trucks up there for a reason I don't see anybody else there though 
just want to make sure there's nobody hiding behind any of these trees. Well, I think we're pretty safe there. Uh, we're going to go back and look over here. Make sure... Oh yeah, there were some guys hiding behind that main terminal. Sweet, there we go. I think that might be... Oh no, here's a guy. I didn't see him earlier. I don't know how I missed him. He's out in front. Now I didn't miss him. Oh, maybe he was behind those hangers. From my previous position. Okay. Get this guy under control. Take over the pilot seat. Obviously, uh, I missed a guy or two. <laughs> so we're going to extend a little bit, turn back around, and we'll see if maybe we can get George to get these guys or this guy. Hey, my wingman's still here. I was starting to think he was dead. Okay, George has the gun. Let's get steady. I think it was somewhere in there. Oh, we got two guys. Take that guy. I'm trying to slow down here. Maybe even go backwards. Oh, that guy was over there. Okay. There we go. Okay, I think that's it. Let's call in these flights. gonna fly out a little bit and basically just uh, make a pattern out here I'm gonna tell George to get the hellfire ready again I'll was the gun and we'll just kind of fly a pattern out here this side of the airport Okay, I see one of the flights coming in. I don't remember which one was which. Those look like CH-47s. There should be a flight of Hueys coming in at the other end of the airport.
Oh, there they are. Coming across below my canopy, or at the low end of my canopy there. Front fuel low. And aft fuel low. Oh, I had them backwards. Yeah. Aft popped up first, I think. Interesting. That's not good. I need to stay on station for a little bit. as long as we can here. Oh, there's a big fire burning. Something must have uh, finally gotten destroyed down there or something. Shots. Something is going on down there. What? Ah, okay. Some tanks are coming in. Let's tell this guy. There we go. Okay. What do we got? Okay, BMD. Sweet. Let's turn around and get get a warhead on this guy. Oh, I think my wingman just... Yeah, my wingman just fired at him. Okay, I saw the missile trail as I told George to fire. Okay, got a BTR-80. Get him. Sweet. We need to roll out. Tank over there, I guess. Hueys are leaving. That's good. Get them out of here. Definitely something over there, drawing the attention of all these guys. I got him on it now. Okay, that'll work though. I was a little uh, unsteady on my flight controls there. Sweet, okay. I think that's all the tanks. Ah, this guy's getting a warhead. I don't want to mess with the gun right now. And honestly, I need less weight. <laughs> there. Okay, our CH-47's popped up. I really need to get out of here. Um, so I'm hoping that everything's dead, but I want to check before I leave these guys. Those are all the friendlies down there. Uh, I think that CH-47 got disabled. 
Look over there, George. Check over there. Nothing but friendlies. Okay. Uh, I haven't been told I can leave yet, but I'm going to leave. So, okay, yeah, it looks pretty safe. We haven't been cleared to leave, but I've got to go back. Uh, I would have alerted my controller to my fuel state, I think, at this point anyway, in real life. Or however, whatever procedures would be used for that kind of thing. So, let's head out. We've got quite a ways to go. in a short time to get there but I want to keep my torque low um, I should burn a lot less fuel um, as if my blades aren't having to work so hard to cut through the air to produce lift I should burn less fuel so we're just gonna try to try to keep it kind of low here up over the highland and we are nearing uh, nearing our original FARP we've got 150 pounds left uh, sorry 160 pounds left and I'm not going to dilly dally much with landing because I'm not very good at landing the helicopter um, and I don't want to burn the rest of my fuel trying to get face the exact correct direction this is uh, what I would consider it a, uh, an important time to just land. And we've, uh, we've kind of gone to the left a little bit, and um, the landing area is just right over here beyond these trees. So we're going to try to get positioned, come in right over the trees, and just set it down. Um, I've got maybe five minutes, six minutes of fuel left, I think. Uh, I'm not going to look down right now because I'm kind of stressed about landing. Okay, I see my area. I'm probably going to take up enough area for two helicopters. I'm going to be a little greedy here. Just because I'm not that great at this. I'm a little fidgety. I can't land exactly where I want. We want to keep the descent rate going, but not too fast. And we're going to try to go ahead and slow down. Okay, there's zero. We don't want to go backwards. We'll do those trees. Not too much side slip. There we go. Still want to roll. Set it down. Whew. Dang. This guy's over here showing off. He's like, I don't have to set it down immediately. Oh, I, I can even turn it around. I've got so much fuel. Uh, anyway, this is always a fun mission. Uh, having George being able to pick out targets makes it a little bit easier. Um, and of course, knowing when and where those targets are going to be there makes it easier as well since I've played it before. So there's that. But uh, anyway, we are successful. And I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching.